Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. So we got a brand new Gaming Greats Republic Commando boss. And uh, despite the inaccuracies, this is a great looking figure. This is, uh, you know, it was, I was very hesitant to pick it up, but uh, seeing a couple of reviews earlier, um, I decided why not. They hit stores pretty much the last couple of days here in Australia, so... Um, yeah, I went ahead and picked him up. I'm excited to open him and review him. We'll have a little chat, but I'm not going to complain about what we didn't get because of its inaccuracies, but I'm just going to show you what we got, and that's what the figure review is all about. So let's crack it open and have a look. Okay, here is Republic Commando Boss, aka RC1138. Out of the packaging, and it is, it is a cool figure, despite the fact that he is, more or less the entire body is, uh, you know, a, just a hunter repaint. Um, from the Bad Batch. It looks good, they've done a good job. I think, you know, despite the fact that we've got to pay a little bit more and I'll complain like, I'm complained about that for the gaming grades here in Australia at 55 bucks. Um, you know, despite the price point, I think, you know, it's, you gotta have, you gotta have a few of these sort of repacky sort of figures just to sort of get the characters out there and, and keep people interested. But, um, you know, the fact that they didn't really, they didn't even go ahead and, block in the arm there which I had to do with both my crosshair figures because they use the same arm I just use a bit of plastic to um, super glue that in there so I'll be doing the same here but otherwise you know it's it's not bad I'm, I'm digging the figure and it, it's the helmet honestly the helmet and the color which does it for me so firstly we have his blaster rifle here which I feel like could be a little bit bigger but it works okay. No extra detail or anything on that, but it's a good sculpt, so we'll, we'll roll with that. And the backpack. Now, unfortunately, I'm not at home, so I don't have any of the other Republic Commando figures to compare it to on hand, so, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's definitely the colors that do it for me. It looks good, nice paint work. The helmet sculpt is fantastic. I would, uh, I'll be honest and just say, you know, I'd rather be paying $55 for a brand new figure and call it a deluxe and, you know, add all the bells and whistles to this guy that he should have in terms of the accuracies of the sculpt, the extra, the extra arm sort of pieces that are different and, and, and et cetera, et cetera, you know, but it is what it is. You know, we're probably, this is, hopefully this is the start. We can get the crew. Having all four of these guys together on a shelf in this style would be, you know, more than fine for me. I'd be very happy to see that. Um, so we will sit, wait and see. You know, this was uh, Boss got, it was the only Republic Commando to get a release in the Clone Wars line back in 2013. And sort of as that line was wrapping up, I dare say more were planned, but because that line pretty much wrapped up, uh, we didn't get to see any more. And it wasn't the best. <laughs> um, but it would have been cool to see more. So hopefully with Black Series they can follow it up and give us Scorch, give us Zeb, um, etc. That would be super cool. But yeah, dig in the helmet. That looks fantastic. I do like this figure. I do really like it. I'm probably going to put it up with my Clone Wars stuff, all my with all my clones, as opposed to you know the expanded universe. It's looking pretty good. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please send out in the comments below. I'm digging the paintwork. I like the sort of the scuffs, the knees, you know. Two sort of the sort of charcoal grey stripes on the shoulders. Close up of the head sculpt. You can get a look at the detail of the paint. Looks like it's been painted on by the by the characters themselves. So on the chest there, it's pretty worn away a little bit. You know, paint's chipped off, etc. But I'm digging it. I like this figure a lot. I think it's cool. I'm glad I picked it up. Nice to be able to nice to be able to get a review up this week. I'm I'm excited. If you uh, didn't check out my 4500 
um, subscriber giveaway I dropped yesterday. Please go back and have a look. Check that out. And uh, yeah, you could be in the in the running to win a bunch of awesome, awesome figures. So we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, may the force be with you, always.